The world of consciousness is world of full consciousness which is completely developed without any physical or material limitations. Besides just physical elements, we also just define that the mood is more important than physical elements because without love, no relationship are substantial. So without our even feeling, without our pure consciousness, no reality is, is suitable for us. In other words, when you depress, when you're not happy, something that would supposedly draw positive feelings will not produce that. And when you are in love, with your divine loving vision, something maybe not even so beautiful can, can reveal its own beauty. Therefore, the consciousness is primarily substance, the matter is secondary substance. So we live in a material world where matter is important for us because that's the conditions of the reality we live in. It's just almost like when you live in virtual reality world, you have to have everything virtual. You have to have virtual avatar, your virtual body, uh, the cyberspace, etc., the virtual objects and virtual activities. And therefore, in order to deal with virtual reality, you must have everything virtual. But somebody who writes the code or, or somebody who administrates that virtual reality, he can enter to that reality and change it. So when we talk about God, Krishna, we can understand, although you cannot directly see him in this world, you can feel his presence in nature, in environment, and consciousness. But actually, one of your clear definition of God will be he's higher than physical reality. He's beyond physical reality, although you can clearly detect his presence in physical reality. And you can also understand that he's beyond all the knowledge that even artificial intellect can have.